pretty girl named Alice sat by the stream one day. She was clever and oh. nice, but had no friend with whom to play. As she sat there bored, daydreaming in her head, a white rabbit appeared. And here's what he said. I must be running off. I'm so very late. I must meet the queen. I cannot let her wait. The rabbit ran off, and Alice ran too. She was curious and had nothing better to do. What a strange little bunny, she thought as she ran. He talks and has a watch and is dressed like a man. She followed him through the woods, left and right, round and round. Before she knew it, she fell through a hole in the ground. The hole was huge, deep as Set the, the record deepest button well. Beside me to record and my for voice. a very long time, Alice fell and fell. She finally landed safely on the floor of a room unlike any room she'd ever seen before. There was a table with a bottle whose label read, Drink. She took a little sip and right away began to shrink. She was as tiny as a mouse with little hands and tiny feet. And on the floor she found a biscuit and its label read, mm, Eat. A cookie. She took a little bite, and to her great surprise, she started growing and growing to a very big size. Once again she drank, and again she was small. Then she carefully went through a hole in the wall. She walked and walked, and reached a cave full of birds. There was a duck, and a parrot, and one too odd for words. The odd one was a dodo, and it opened its beak and said, Come on, it's a race! We've been waiting all week! The birds all ran off in every which way. The dodo cried, You've all won! We're all winners today! Alice thought, this is so odd. Tap the record Just button beside be. me to record my voice. She walked out of the cave, and what did she see? A colorful caterpillar, looking a bit cross and fat, who was blowing rings of smoke as on a mushroom he sat. Alice was polite and said, well, hello. But he wasn't very nice, so she decided to go. She was still very curious after everything she'd seen, so she walked on and reached the castle of the queen. The queen was busy and didn't even speak, but she saw a cat with a huge grin spread from cheek to cheek. The cat smiled and asked, Hmm, Alice, what's the matter? If you think I'm strange, you should meet the Mad Hatter. Oh. And as he said this, he disappeared from there, leaving only his smile floating gently in the air. Oh. Alice was getting tired and wanted to go home. But she was also very curious, so she continued to roam. So she walked on and found a table behind a tree where the Mad Hatter, a squirrel, and a hare were having tea. Hmm. She hadn't been invited, she want? but they didn't seem to care. So she sat and had some tea with the squirrel and the hare. Hmm. The angry queen came by and said, Girl, why are you here? Hmm, what is she, she waved her to? scepter <laughs> angrily, but Alice said with no fear, hmm. Why, you are nothing but a playing card. You're hey, not a you. real queen. There's no need to be so cross and so mean. And as she said these words, to her great surprise, a whole pack of cards flew before her oh. eyes. Alice opened her eyes oh, and found dream. herself by the stream. She suddenly realized it was nothing but a dream. 
And as she sat there thinking of all that she had seen, she heard the rabbit cry out, mm. I'm late I? for the queen! The End Alice in Wonderland